So we are here at the new property, clearing out the driveway, which if you've been following us on Instagram, you've seen that we've been up to that, all right? So this tree needs to go, all right? So when you're cutting with a hatchet, you need to be aware of a couple things. You need to be aware of where your legs are at. So this leg, when you're swinging, if you miss the tree, you don't get enough bite in there, you can come through and hit your own leg. That's no good. And this leg, if you're swinging, hatchet glances off, you don't get a good angle, hatchet glances off, you hit this leg. So be aware of where your legs are at. Be aware of what's behind you when you're swinging something sharp. Uh, nobody gets hurt. That's good. Let's get started. What I see a lot of people do when they're trying to cut down a tree with a hatchet or a machete, anything sharp like that, they try to come at the tree straight on, all right? And that's no good, all right? If you do that, it's just gonna smash the tree a little bit. It's not gonna cut it, all right? What you wanna do is you wanna cut with the grain of the wood and come down at like a 45 degree angle. And you're like peeling the wood away from the tree, all right? Just like that. All right, and then you can come back once you get a little bit going, you can come back and then you hit it like this and just knock those bits away. And now you get to cut some more and you can come work your way around the tree so you're getting these edges. Those edges are a lot easier to cut than a flat surface like that. So you just work your way around, knock a little bit away, come over here, same thing. All right, and just work your way through the tree. All right, so we have taken enough out. Now we're just gonna push the tree over. I'm just going to push it that way, away from the notch, and it should just tip right over. All right. All right. There we go. All right, so our tree is down. The last thing that we need to do is get rid of these fibers from where the tree fell over, and uh, there's that little bit of wood still. The tree falls over, and it kind of pulls these fibers. You can see them right here. So. That's the last thing that needs to go, and all you need to do is just kind of give that a couple uh, hits down the side of the tree, and just cut the bark, and there you go. 